everyone, it's Candy Zara. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just spending some quiet time with the Lord and hopefully you guys get motivated or get encouraged by this. Um, I'm just going to be scripture writing from John 5. Hey everyone, I am sitting here, scripture reading and scripture writing, and I just wanted to get on here real quick and talk, um, not really like talk about anything, but just encourage you guys to be getting in your word even when it's difficult and you just don't feel like it or you just feel like you don't have the time or um, you feel like you don't understand it. I find that like you know, reading scripture is one thing, but like reading it and then writing it, it gives you time to process and digest more. Hey. Ivanka, lay down. <clears throat> it gives you time, um, yeah, just to digest it and to properly, I feel like it helps properly divide the word, like rightly divide the word, which is what the word says we should be doing. Um, like this verse alone, like it's something that I've read a million times before, but it's something that I don't know that I like let inform my theology, right? So this verse is verse 23. It's John 5 verse 23 and it says, um, The Father judges no one, but has given all judgment to the Son, so that all may honor the Son just as they honor the Father. Um... Wow, and I know like there's a lot of debate as like where is um, Yeshua standing? Where does he, where does he rank in all of this? Um, and then some people get into like, do we worship him? Do we not? Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Um, I've kind of shared my view on that. I don't know that I want to get into that right now, but um, this verse to me is one of those verses that helps clarify that that the Father's will is that we honor Yeshua Jesus the same way that we honor the Father. Um, I don't know. I just wanted to like point that out and be like, hey, this is what I'm reading and this is something that really just stuck out to me. So anyway, um, hopefully you guys are having a wonderful week um, and hopefully you guys are diving into your word and going ahead and 
do in your scripture reading and writing. Purim is coming for those who celebrate Purim. Um, Easter is a bit far off, but not too far off for those who celebrate Easter. It is Lent right now for those who observe Lent. Um, Pashka is coming, slash Passover, Pesach is coming. So hopefully you guys are just enjoying this time of um, feasts and festivals and fasts and just commemorating the most important thing to have ever happened ever, ever, ever in history, which is the coming of our Mashiach, of our uh, Messiah, Jesus. And in this season, you know, everyone, not everyone, but those in Judeo, um, Judeo-Christian religions are celebrating and commemorating his death, um, his burial, and his resurrection, which it's the most important thing to have ever happened. So anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, be sure to subscribe, and until next time, God allowing. Bye, y'all.